Hi there guys, I'll give you a different background of chaos this time because everywhere you look is chaos. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, anyway, quick intro. Um, I've made a start on the uh, attempt, <laughs> stress attempt, all very experimental, uh, to try and limit or stop any uh, chuck problem if I go into reverse on a threaded spindle. Uh, I'm still working on it at this moment and I think it'll get a bit long if I wait till I've finished. So I'm going to call this part one. This is basically preparing the aluminum uh, collar and uh, once we get that done it's then a case of how to set up a bolt or a pin from the chuck back plate into this collar. So we'll see how it goes. But this is part one. You'll see that the the little boring bar I used actually had a pretty <laughs> pretty useless grind on it. And uh, although it made a cut, it wasn't uh, at all ideal. But it got me to where I wanted to go, which is the main thing. So anyway, enough for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll try and get part two out in the fairly near future. So at the end of the day when it's all done, which I hope to get done fairly soon, it'll be a case of whether the damn thing works or not. <laughs> that's, that's going to be very iffy. You know me, everything's suck it and sieve, on the fly, experimental, and uh, in the end functional. And that's about all it boils down to. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now. I've got to do a bit of handheld here and I'll try and describe what I'm going to try and do. This is going to be on the fly, suck it and see, and see if I can make it work. But anyway, the thing to note here is that here is the rear of the uh, chuck back plate and here is the front spindle bearing, how to guard. And if I move that, you can probably see that between here and here is all I've got to mount what I intend to make, which is a clamp ring collar, call it what you like. But, I'm not sure why, but the diameter is bigger here than there. This groove was put in many years ago to run a flexible drive to a rev counter. So what is available here is basically 3 eighths, which is not a lot. So we'll have to finish up with something that's uh, bored out major diameter, minor diameter, and uh, split it, and uh, use a couple of bolts to tighten it up. The plan then I probably will have said in an intro, what we're trying to do is to make uh, reverse safe to use on this threaded spindle. So once we've made the um, collar, we'll drill and tap the back of the back plate, use a fairly substantial bolt with a lock nut, and engage the bolt in a slot. I think probably a slot anyway because I've got to cope with uh, two different chucks and uh, put the bolt into the slot in the collar and that should at least safeguard uh, whether it'll actually stop a chuck from undoing I don't know but it would certainly limit it and make it uh, safe enough not to come off the spindle. But we will see That's um, it's a piece of 3 8 which is lucky. I've had it for I don't know how long, that's why it looks so dirty. So it'll save uh, doing any surface work on it. And cosmetics aren't important, to be honest. So we cut that, taking the corners off. And uh, I'm going to bore that. I've got several old mandrels from 
donkeys years ago. So I'm going to set it up on one of the mandrels and then we'll turn it to, to, to round. Uh, the inner circle is very approximate to the major diameter on the spindle. All right, we're on a half inch mandrel. Got the uh, mandrel centered in the fore jaw and uh, this is quite a good fit actually, which is nice. But we've got a lot of interrupted cut. All right, you don't want to see all of that. <laughs> it's, it's going to take a while. Lightish cuts till I get a bit further in. That's getting close. We just got another couple of flats to get rid of. The diameter of this is nominally about three and a half, and it's not not hypercritical actually. I'll just take another couple of passes. Almost there. Take one more on that and then um, we'll put the uh, three jaw in and uh, get this set up so we can bore that out which will be pretty critical. In fact when this four jaw comes off uh, I've got to take some really critical measurements of the uh, spindle, these two diameters. The main thing is to get them both um, stepped correctly so that it uh, grips on all surfaces which is pretty limited actually. Just put a quick chamfer on. We've reversed the jaws on here a bit of copper softing and we've got this set up. I just started, I didn't have the video running, I'll just keep it going. I'm in back gear, just getting this hole a bit bigger before we get the boring bar in. Very old three-quarter drill this one, not an ideal grind on it, that's why the uh, chips weren't quite equal. I'll see if I can go up to an inch and then uh, get the boring bar out. It's actually quite a new drill, but it's uh, an import one and uh, not quite a perfect grind by the look of it. But anyway, <laughs> just want to make the hole bigger. One thing I don't have is a really stout boring bar. I don't got anything that's really big. Looking at all I've got. The amount of reach that I need is it's only three eighths. So I've got this uh, this little fella. If you can see it in there, it's just a chunk of HSS that was ground long ago, actually, to a small boring bar, and there, it has a short reach, but it suits what we're doing. So I've got a long way to go. I'm just trying 25 thou cut. I don't want to go too too much, it's not really an ideal grind, but it's uh, it's getting a cut. All 
you can probably see we've got a long way to go. The uh, That circle roughly is where we're heading for. So I've got uh, I've still got about 500 plus to take out, <laughs> so I'll just keep going at it. And once we get closer to uh, where we're heading for, I shall have to be very careful. So we'll just press on. Hmm. Old dumbass here has forgotten about the uh, chuck clearance on the jaws. Partly because this uh, boring bar has got a rather acute angle on it. It's not cutting off the back here and I've reset the carriage stop so that it clears the chuck jaws but I've got further to go yet. So we'll have to put the jaws back the other way. So we've got the jaws back to where they should be. <laughs> oh God. With the amount of boring I had to do, I didn't think about the uh, catching the jaws or the risk of that. It actually proves the uh, principle of six P's. Poor previous planning leads to piss poor performance. <laughs> uh, so I have to waste time setting it up again. I've had to set this up close to the edge so I could use the bump roller to get truth on it. I mean the actual concentricity of this uh, is not critical to the thou or so at all but the bore is going to be very critical so uh, I've just got to press on. I'm taking slightly smaller cuts because I didn't want to go onto back gear so I'm running a little bit fast but it's okay. You can see the problem with the grind on this tool. I'm getting a good enough cut with it. That was a slight spring cut on the return so you can see some machining marks. But um, I've got about a hundred and some to go so we'll carry on and get close to close to final. The other thing I'd mentioned, by the way, you may have noticed these uh, chuck jaws are fairly well out, uh, probably at about 50%, which is, I forget what the accepted limit is. I might even be over the limit. And when I've finished this, I will have to take the jaws out and clean the scrolls because uh, I'm getting a lot of chips getting in there. But there we are, it's the only way I can do it. I think I could have set it up in the mill and used the boring bar, but I prefer to do this, to be honest. I'll just take a thou off, and I'm hoping it'll get me pretty much to what I'm looking for, 2.252. take a very slow return on that because it effectively gives a little bit of a spring pass so uh, probably still may be slightly shy but I'm trying to get right on the money Still need another little skim on it. This uh, dial gauge will be blown out, I think. Too much reflection. I'm using that there to keep track of my uh, cross slide as a, um, a check. Got the uh, carriage stop set up. 
we want to go in 160 uh, I've got a scratch mark there which I'll just check I've got to take 60 thou off the radius I've just taken 5 just to check to see where we are I'm only going to take 5 thou cuts because oh got a text message um, I'll get a rather messy shoulder on here if I'm not careful I should have to clean that shoulder up when I finish the cuts. I really should have reground this uh, boring bar, but anyway, it'll have to do, I think. So there we are, we've got the stepped diameters. Whether it's going to fit, I don't know, because I'm going to split it and uh, split it and thread it and get it prepared before I even try it on. <laughs> There's confidence for you, or not. I haven't a clue, I've been careful, but we'll have to see.